Hey, it's your Jelly Mama here and today I'm working with the fabulous Kiki London to bring you this easy nail art for beginners, travel. So these are the products that I've used for the base and I've gone ahead and applied two layers and cured them in the lamp. So you want to get um, your white gel polish and a small dotting tool and I am just sort of doing like curved dot lines and then stopping at a certain point because that's where I'm going to be putting the aeroplane so I'm kind of like mimicking like obviously not that you always see them but there are just thousands of aeroplanes sort of crossing over each other in the sky all of the time. And if you follow me on my other channel, which is Jellylicious, you'll know that I've recently been on vacation. So that's kind of what's inspired this money. So me and my fabulous family jetted off for a week and enjoyed the Mallorcan sun. It was absolutely fantastic. It was just great for a switch off from this world and just totally, you know, relax, chill out and enjoy some, you know, proper family time. So are you going to be jetting off anywhere, Jelly Babes, or even if you know you're not going abroad, are you, have you got any holiday plans? If so, if you're okay with it, obviously, let me know where you're going. I would love um, to see where my Jelly Babes go off on their um, holidays. <laughs> so that's that first nail done. And as you can see, it was really easy to do. It's just a case of a few lines and dots. And this one, I'm going to be doing the clouds and what I like about this is because obviously the shape of the clouds just varies it, you know you don't have to be dead like perfect with this you can just you know add a few dots I found like if I added like dots at the top and then added it on the bottom but dragged it down slightly that kind of roughly got you a cloud shape obviously you can do it more detailed if you're uh, more an advanced um, sort of nail artist but this is for you know for beginners basically and the final uh, nail that you're going to be adding some nail art to it will be your pinky so you're kind of doing like a rounded rectangular shape and this is going to be like a, you know some hand luggage type bag like cabin bag look and then with the electric island i'm just adding some blue detail but you know making it a different color just so it stands out more the detail that i'm trying to achieve and then i'm just going to add a couple of curved lines in the middle just to kind of give the bag a bit of shape so there you go that was really easy to achieve again you could do much more detailed if you are uh, more advanced in with your nail art skills but this is meant to be for people that want to do nail art but very very you know like me basic skills but you can still create some real pretty designs even with those basic skills and you can wear it with confidence as well because you know you're gonna if you've prepped your nails properly you're gonna have you know two weeks plus um chip free wear money um which is one of the bonuses and why i use gels so much um, because after I've done all my nails, I don't exactly want to take it off and do it all again in a few days. I know that appeals to some, and that's why they don't use gels. But for me, that is a major plus with, with gels, you know, and especially if you're going on vacation, you're going to want it to last um, for the duration of your vacation. <laughs> So I'm coming back in with a small dotting tool. I'm just adding some, a few dots onto the sort of bikini type image. And then because I thought it was just like a little bit plain, I thought I would bring this color in, which I've used just to, uh, you know, for the middle finger, like just a plain accent nail. And what I loved about this is because it's like a sparkly um, polish, it kind of just looked like I'd added some like little jewels onto the nail because it was sparkly. And I really, really loved the effect. I do love the platinum colors as well, just because you've got that, you know, more sort of luxurious look to it. And that is your mani done. And all that's left to do is seal it all in with a top coat. I'm using a no wipe top coat, which means basically you don't have to wipe off the tacky layer. Once you've cured this in your lamp, your mani is dry, it's done, and you can carry on with your life. Um, but obviously if you do use a 
a, a top coat that isn't no wipe you're going to need to get some isopropyl alcohol and a lint free wipe and just wipe off that tacky layer which is totally normal with gels and by the way i haven't had a reaction with the gels or anything like that i just burnt my finger on some nail straighteners <laughs> so that's what that shiny redness is about on my finger so make sure you come back this time next week where i'll be showing you their new neon summer collection it's going to be beautiful jelly babes you're going to want to check them out <laughs> so that is it from me thank you so much for watching please press that free subscribe button and until next time take care bye